Quite a big one, but it uh, almost gets lost in this Olympic Stadium. It really does. Well, the pole vault uh, has been going on for a little while now. They started off at 5.41. This is the uh, world champion coming in. He's had some really dreadful times in, uh, in terms of his vaulting after he won the, the title in uh, 2013. He got a bronze in the Olympic Games, but Holstepper of Germany really has had to play second fiddle to Renaud Le Villigny of uh, France, who really has yet to vault. Le Villigny, but that uh, is third place. You've got that 571. It's getting into respectable te territory now. Well, Renaud Le Villigny of France uh, jumped at six meters and five in Eugene. He is the world record holder and he chooses five meters and 71 as his opening height and uh, that's the sort of height that a man of his caliber would choose he has had a few hiccups in the past of uh, early failures but he's always prevailed in the end the olympic champion three times the european champion he won it in 2010 2012 and again last year in zurich he's the true athlete he's taken over the mantle of the world's number one um he's dominating it just as sergei bubka did all those years ago and uh, six meters and 16 is his world record set in Donetsk uh, in February last year and uh, he's performed indoors and out over that height enjoying the participation of this crowd so 571 first attempt opening height Renault La Villigny. Oh. <laughs> Well, well, he, as you can see, he clobbered that on the way down, but the height he got um, means that his high point was in the wrong place because he was, we got another shot of this, he's way over the bar and just comes down on it. So he'll have to get his uh, approach right and get his positioning over the bar right. Just wants the, a little bit of an adjustment. And... Uh, that's his right. You can see that sock in the background on the left, just going out of your shot. It's absolutely still. There is not an iota of wind here, but that uh, means that 571. Now, have a look at this. Now, that's the sort of height. And watch him come down on the bar. His high point is just in front of the bar, and he can't avoid it. He can't unwind and get rid of it. But that's six meter plus vaulting, if he can uh, just get it right. It just shows how precise pole vaulting is. The approach is important, the, 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 the whole approach. Well, he uh, failed at 5.56 first time, then went clear. Now he's had a couple of pops at 5.71. And the reigning world champion, who had injury problems last year, just can't get it right at the moment. That's it. Height, it should be fairly modest and something they can take in their stride many of these men in particular this man a wonderful 605 to top the world rankings in eugene last week become equal second highest vaulter uh, in history and he had three not very convincing attempts it has to be said at a new world outdoor record of six meters 16 did renault labilani he had his shoulder quite heavily strapped in uh, eugene when he vaulted five days ago after a, an accident with a, a small club meeting in france he'd uh, dived at the line in a sprint relay <laughs> for his club and hit the ground very hard and badly bruised his shoulder joint i think it was his left shoulder but apparently put in a couple of good training sessions last week prior to eugene and should be back to 100 percent i feel a neither second attempt 571 Not the sort of height he'd normally celebrate clearing. But uh, for many athletes, it looks like it could be the end of their competition here tonight. I can tell you that seven athletes, eight athletes, have failed this height twice. Now, by how much does he go clear? Look at that. Oh, my word. That's 5.71. Well, I don't think he's held back there. That looks like a six-meter vault without any trouble. You can't tell from that angle if the high point was above the bar or not, but the fact is his center of gravity was boomed over that bar by a big, big margin. And this is Philippides, um, 
of Greece in the uh, pole vault. We're going very quickly from one to the other, aren't we? It's a uh, World Indoor Championship uh, champion indoors. This man, he's done very nicely indeed, and he goes clear. And uh, Philippides at uh, third attempt there at 5.71. So he goes clear at that. I like the way he's so aggressive on the on the approach and uh, that's very very important you've got to really charge into that uh, plant and that's exactly what uh, Constantino Filippidis does 575 is his season's best so he's very close to that he's got a best personal best of 582 which was a couple of seasons ago set in Doha that first rate that first event of the um, Diamond League season Well, Thiago Braz then. Second time Clint's at 571. Now the Brazilian finds himself in a bit of trouble. Real trouble this time. 581. Third and final attempt. Good speed. Oh, that's nice. Perfectly clear there, Thiago Braz. And that's just two centimeters shy of his lifetime best. It's a big, big uh, season's best. Cleared 575 on in Ostrava. But that uh, second time, third time clearance, excuse me, at 5 metres 81. Can tell you that uh, Renault Le Villani is passing at this height. Means that uh, he is in the lead at the moment, the only athlete clear at this height. Well, once again, we go to the pole vault and it's. Uh, Renault Lavillenie at 591. He had to go to this height to uh, take on uh, Braz. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. First time clearance. Now, let's, let's get this right. He failed at 586 on his first occasion, first occasion. He saw Braz go clear. So, he then passed at 586, goes to the next height because he knows he's got to go to a greater height to beat Braz. He didn't want to lose on count back. So he now leads at 5.91. But Bolt, of course, is aiming at Beijing. He's not aiming, aiming at winning Diamond League races now. As we go over to this pole vault, and Renault Le Villani. Le Villani it is. Now, 5.91. He was attempting, uh, he's at 6.01, and he was attempting to go beyond Sergei Bubka's uh, meeting record, which stands at 5.94. I was going to say, he's cleared. There's the card for uh, La Villani. 6.05, remember, last Saturday in the beautiful sunshine. Well, let's just look at this uh, third and final attempt. Uh, La Villani at six metres and one. In fact, it's his second attempt. Oh, it was so close. So close. So close. He's got one more attempt to go. And that uh, at 6.01, just to bring you up to date, he's, uh, he cleared 5.91, passed at 5.96, had two failures now at uh, 6 metres and 1 in his attempt to erase Sergei Bubka's uh, 1984 record, which stands at 5 metres and 94. So, he's got one more attempt left for the third attempt, live for Renault Lavillini at 6.01. Third and final attempt for the Olympic champion, three times European champion. Oh, it looked so good, and it came down on the bar again. You can see that there's far more in there, and that look of frustration. It looked as though he'd got it, and he came back down on it, and so Sergei Bubka's meeting record at 594 remains. He's so determined. He charges down that runway. The plant is emphatic. And he comes down on that bar once again. You can see how he is, uh, how he achieved that world record of 616. He's such a, a dynamic uh, athlete in every sense. He's not that big, but my goodness me, he's fast.